Numerals, number names, and expanded form. Hi, I'm the thousands place block. And I'm the hundreds. And I'm the tens. And I'm the ones. And, and we, we are ready, ready to teach, teach you about, about numerals, numerals number, number names, names, and expanded, and expanded form. form. When reading numbers, you want to read everything before the comma, and then you read the comma as thousand, and then read everything after the comma. So this number would be 457,846. To write it in expanded form, we write what each digit is worth. The four in the hundred thousands place is 400,000, plus the five in the ten thousands place would represent 50,000 plus the seven in the thousands place is 7,000, the eight in the hundreds place is 800, plus the four in the tens place is 40, and the six in the ones place, so six. We get 400,000 plus 50,000 plus 7,000 plus 800 plus 40 plus six. Let's check out this number, 1,340. It's made up of 1,000, three hundreds, and four tens. But we can also break it up a couple of different ways as well. It can be thirteen hundreds and four tens, or thirteen hundreds and forty ones. Each of these still give us 1,340, but we're broken up different ways using the number's place values. Now let's look at how to write the number 12,489 in standard form. We have 12, and then for the word thousand, I write a comma, and then 489. There we go, 12,489. Ooh, this one looks tricky. Three thousands plus two tens plus six hundreds is less than which number below? Well, that would be a three in the thousand spot, two in the tens, six in the hundreds, and since there are no ones, a zero in the one spot. That gives us 3,620. Now let's figure out what each of the answer choices are. The first one has a three in the thousands, nine in the tens, four in the ones, and three in the hundreds. That's 3,394. The second one has a eight in the hundreds, three in the thousands, and six in the ones. There are no tens, so we put a zero there to hold its place. That's 3,806. The third one has a three in the thousands, two in the hundreds, and nine in the ones. There are no tens, so we would put a zero there to hold its place. That gives us 3,209. The last answer choice has a six in the hundreds place, seven in the tens place, and two in the thousands place. Let's put a zero in the ones place since we don't have any. That gives us 2,670. Now we can compare these numbers. We were looking for a number that our number, 3,620, is less than. Well, that means we need to find a number greater than ours. If we look at the thousands place, we know 2,000 is not greater than 3,000, so we can eliminate this answer choice. Now let's look at the hundreds. Our number has six hundreds, but this number has eight hundreds, so this must be our answer. Let's try one more problem. Which expression represents the number 12,703 written in expanded form? Well, let's check out the answer choices and see what each would give us. This first one would be 12,730. Then we have 12 plus 70, which is 82, plus 3 is 85. The next answer choice looks tricky. Let's start with 1,200. Adding 70 would give us 1,270, and adding 3 would give us 1,273. The last answer choice gives us 2,000 plus 10,000, which is 12,000, then 3 ones and 7 hundreds. That gives us 12,703, which is our answer. This was fun. I think you're ready for some practice problems of your own. Good luck!